Yeah, Jess, I am looking at the intersection of Big Bear and Range Lime. Switch that over so you can see it here. Uh, that's what we are looking at right now. Again, you can see the roads are still mostly covered with a combination of snowpack on top of maybe even some ice and some sleet, as you mentioned. Now, earlier today, as you also mentioned, I've been out uh, monitoring roadways. This is some video from what we saw earlier today. Uh, this was going to be, this is on I-70. That's that uh, slide off that we saw that caused that big delay earlier on today, uh, caused also some secondary accidents that we saw. So certainly uh, it's been a little bit dicey for travel. And as you can imagine, of course, we are adding to this. We're adding to this the potential for more accumulation. So things are just going to get dicier from here on out. And uh, so we're likely just going to uh, have to be careful as we head throughout the rest of the evening tonight and into uh, tomorrow. Again, if you can, stay off the roads. But if you have to get out, please be safe, be careful. Because again, not only are things slick, but it's hard to see things like uh, dividers in the road. It's hard to see lines. It's hard to see even where the road stops. So if you got to get out, be careful and use lots of caution. Reporting live this evening here in Columbia, ABC 17 Storm Track meteorologist John Ross. Okay, John Ross, thank you. And school district.